welcome to this success story series as part of success story series we interview people who got trained through us and who got into this field of data science or data analytics of late we were only interviewing those people who joined different other companies right but now we thought we will also interview our own uh, uh, you know folks who have joined us in inno data tics right getting into inno data tics is also no small task right we don't hire anyone and everyone who come our way right we are very very choosy about whom we pick uh, so as part of that uh, we have sandeep today and sandeep has joined us uh, he has joined inno data tics as a, as a junior data scientist right so sandeep how was your journey been how has your journey been to get into this field of data science can you briefly explain that please okay sir sir i am basically from bhubneswar odisha sir i have done my btech in mechanical engineering after then i joined cognizant i was working with them for few months under mainstream technology but so somewhere i felt that uh, i am not utilizing my strength i was good in mathematics and uh, i had good domain knowledge so i opted this field because this field requires both the things okay sir sir fortunately i got in contact with rahul he was my sales person he made me understand the, about the institute everything starting from course curriculum to the facilities that the institute provides i really got motivated and uh, i joined for both the courses ai and data science sir i completed both the courses on time rasna ma'am and himan sir were my trainers they were good in the way and uh, after completing the courses along with that i was doing the assignments i completed all the assignments on time reading mind map daily writing down the notes revising it properly all those were my process and uh, after completing everything i enrolled for projects where i did uh, four projects live projects those were those were all real uh, world projects i came to know a lot of things from those projects itself whatever knowledge i had acquired uh, during my course curriculum everything i utilized here i got immensely benefited from those projects Sir, I am glad to tell that uh, last project was my uh, data science project, and uh, the topic of the project was wind turbine failure. And that particular topic, when I came to here, I got so happy because that belongs to my field. That's uh, I was from mechanical background, so gearbox, uh, then uh, types of bearing, temperature, those were all technical terms I was aware of. I got really happy. I did well in that project. Uh, even i got uh, some extra knowledge from that project i utilized all the data science top uh, concepts along with that i utilized my mechanical concepts so this is where the domain knowledge works this is what data science is and uh, i did well and right now i'm in front of you sir yeah sorry sir you are muted sir so yeah so i was saying that you you are talking about wind turbine failure prediction model right that yes, sir. Of that. Yes, and sir. Uh, good to know that and what was the project number if you can tell me uh sir project 109 yeah sir 109 right yes sir so yeah. the the reason why i have asked you sandeep is because uh, those many projects we have accomplished now i think 123 is going on yeah yes sir. all these are real world projects right yes, and when it comes to ai i think we are at around 35 or 36 ai yeah, yeah, sir. Uh, it will be core video and uh, images and textual data audio so on and so forth right, so different sets of projects all together okay uh, sandeep a lot of people are uh, talking about uh, internship program right but how do you think our internship program was different and what kind of additional things you learned as part of our internship did really help you yes yeah, sir literally helped me because uh, when we are doing the course okay so we are getting 80% of the theoretical knowledge okay we are not able to implement it properly although we are doing assignments we are practicing we are having hands on experience that's fine but coming to the real world projects while doing that we are coming across everything we are utilizing every everything means from a to z whatever we have learned we are implementing here and all those projects have been beneficial for our success okay sir and uh, one more thing i need to say that reading mind map is the first and foremost thing as you always say it is just like uh, taking medicines uh, three times a day so i was actually following that because everything is present in the mind map we just need to explore it properly and once we explore it once we gain ideas we just need to implement in our projects that's how it works 
Yes. Absolutely. Sir. Well said. Well said. Yeah. Uh, and I'm so very happy for these two things. Right. And for all the people who have completed their training or who are in the process of uh, completing their training, right? What would be your single most important suggestion if you were to give? And uh, I know you want to give a lot of uh, suggestions, but what is that one single most important suggestion? And we even before that, uh, I wish to make a point here that I uh, personally, you know, a lot of people were saying that, why are you wasting time? Why are you actually uh, conducting Viva of uh, students? Uh, shouldn't you be focusing on growing the business? Shouldn't you focus on those aspects? I focus on those aspects. I, I work for more number of hours. Okay. Having said that, as part of Viva, my questions will be very basic questions. Yes, sir. But those basic questions will test your understanding. Correct. Whether you have mugged up the topic or did you really understand that? So I and also I believe that my way of asking questions will actually help me also figure out who are the bright minds, right? Whom either we can hire immediately or different other hot openings, job openings that we have. Uh, we, we can put those people through uh, you know the job openings quickly. Yes. And that, that's the very reason why I get into Viva because it's all about making or breaking the career. After you do your project, if you don't get a job, what is the use of that? Yes, sir. That means that project is worthless, the project that you've worked on. And as part of first attempt, second attempt, third, fourth, fifth, a few people are giving sixth attempt and seventh attempt also. But the best part is as part of each and every Viva session, they are refining themselves. They're becoming... Yes. Right. And the core idea is that if I'm saying that, okay, your Viva is done, that means you should be in a position to go and attend interviews anywhere else and clear those interviews. Yes, sir. And that's what I focus on as part of uh, Viva session. I, I just wanted to make that statement. Your yes, sir, that you, I, I still remember, sir, I still remember you used to say that if someone is clearing my Viva, then he can clear any Viva in this world. So that's any, that's any interview. interview. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. For, for that level, for that position, I should say. Correct, yeah. sir. Uh, and uh, yeah, the last question is, Sandeep. Uh, while you have a lot of suggestions, you might be having a lot of suggestions to be given to the students. What is the single most important suggestion that you want to give to our students who are already trained or who are undergoing training to get into this field of data science or data analytics? What would that be? Yes, sir. I must say that one need to be positive. Positive mind is required. One need to be positive, then only that person can succeed. Don't think too much. Just uh, believe on yourself. Be with the process. Be disciplined, and everything will automatically fall onto you. Absolutely, very good. Be disciplined. Be focused. Everything yes. will fall in place. One project end to end, end to end. Be disciplined, friends. Yes, sir. Don't cut the corners. Whatever we request you to do, please do it. Read the mind map three times daily means you have to read it. There's no other alternative to that. The reason being, you know, these are all new concepts you try to, uh, you know, learn, but eventually you might forget. That's how human brain is. You cannot consume everything. You cannot remember everything. Until and unless you revisit those again and again. Even for me, with uh, 18 years of experience, uh, if someone talks about or if I'm away from the subject for, say, six months or so, and when you come back and ask me certain questions, I'll be like, okay, should the answer be this or this? And that is one another reason why we request our folks, whoever is joining us, to also start delivering training so that you also remember, you also contribute back your learnings. Yeah. That's so thank asking. you. Thank you so much, Sandeep. It's been yes, a pleasure thank. to interact with you all. I wish you all the very best and I'm certain you all will you know, race ahead in your career. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's Bye. my pleasure, sir. Yeah.